I'm sitting here with Lin Ying, Hi. and it's such a beautiful day outside. It and is. you are also wrapping up the entire coffee house session tours, I believe. I think so. I didn't know this, but I think I'm the last act for this entire coffee house session thing. Wow. Well, way to end it off with bang. I hope. Yes. <laughs> well, anyways, so you've had so much incredible success from Sticky Leaves to all of our friends know. Mm -hmm. It's been quite a long journey. I just wanted yeah. to get your insight and like, you know, how do you feel about everything so far? Um, I don't know. It's hard to kind of wrap my head around anything because I still feel like this there's a long way to go and like I don't I don't I don't like to get too reflective until I know that I've hit like an important milestone or anything. Yeah. I feel like that's just the nature of who I am. Like I'm like sometimes in certain moments I'll catch myself and be like, okay, being here is actually really cool and mm -hmm. everything that has led up to this is pretty amazing. I should take a minute to soak it in but but at the same time, it's like, this is such a long um, and like constantly progressing journey that you kind of have to keep, you kind of have to keep yeah. like looking forward and like moving, yeah. It's kind of like, you know what you don't know in a way. Yeah, So yeah, you have to exactly, like, exactly. you can't really relish it much. Yeah, exactly. Because you're a perfectionist. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> I never want to admit it, but I think it's actually true. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's right. like, Kind of deeply ingrained in, yeah. in, in cultural background as well. You think I so? Feel, I feel. I hate to think that that I'm same. like contained by my Asianness, but maybe, <laughs> maybe that that has something to do with it. I think so. Yeah, yeah I, I understand. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I just kind of wanted to ask you a lot about your musical style because mm -hmm. I found that it was sort of similar to Dodi, where you have like a oh, yeah? whisper singing voice cool. and you have a very nice like. You have approach to songwriting. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like I always don't know where to categorize my music because, I mean, at every different point, I'll be listening to something else, right? And like the music I listen to will constantly change, and and hmm. like as a result, the music I make will probably be, you know, subconsciously a byproduct of that, you know. Yeah. So I I think the one thing that I always kind of hold on to and try to uphold all the time is that is is the fact that I just want the music to be accurate and emotional, I think. Because for me it's like a coping mechanism to come to terms with things that I'm that's like going on in my head that I can't necessarily put into words. So yeah. when I write a song it's kind of like me having a conversation with myself and like and yeah, kind of putting that into into some kind of language. Yeah. And and I think as long as I keep doing that, like where you know wherever the the song sits sonically and like genre wise, I think that's that kind of thing is a bit out of my like I, I try not to focus too much on that because I know that ultimately like the reason I'm doing this is because I just want to make I just want to make music that people can kind of feel less alone when they listen to it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone felt the same way I did, which I suspect, you know, because as a yeah, listener, yeah. like you know, I listen to music that. I feel like someone else has sung about like a certain subject matter and I'm like, yes, like, I'm so happy this song was written about this specific emotion, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well that's cool. so sweet. Like, because yeah. I was going to ask you, what is it about connecting with people who listen to your music that you like the most? Um, yeah, that for sure. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes, I mean, I often like have this personal struggle with myself because I always think like, could I be doing something a bit more like impactful and useful in my life? You know what I mean? Like, right. oh, like if I, I could be you. like a social worker or a doctor or something like that, like something a bit more tangible. Yeah. But like, um, but I think sometimes when I get messages from people who tell me like, oh, I've helped them through a really tough time or like yeah. they went through something hard or, yeah, and and to to get these messages constantly like reminds me that okay that you know there is some kind of purpose to what I do, even if it's very fast world and. You know, I get you. Yeah, even even if like there's a scale of suffering, I guess you know if I'm able to like you know help someone feel less alone, I I think that yeah that's, uh, that's an achievement to me. Yeah. So out of all the fans who've reached out to you and you know said like you know you've helped me through something, is there any one person in particular who stuck out to you? And uh, yeah, I mean someone told me that their mom was like dying and then they they had depression and they really wanted to. They really they, they were suicidal at the point in time and and they listened to they listened to one of my songs and like they said he just said like it meant a lot to him and like it helped him uh, get out of it. And I don't really understand why because that song was like 
a breakup song that I I was just like <laughs> I mean I was just really sad and like torn apart and like that's all I was talking about. But, yeah. So I, I think like you know what I guess what that taught me is that you know no not everyone is gonna understand your music the way you perceive it when you make it. You know. Yeah. Like however your intentions were like they are gonna come off differently and like. People will receive them in a different way, and and that's fine. And sometimes that's good, you know, like for it to not be limited to just what it was about. You know, sometimes people just digest things differently, and and that's quite beautiful as well. I think. Yeah, I like yeah. how everyone when it's out there. It's yeah, not yeah, it's, it's not your song anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's everyone else's to have. Like, and it's pretty cool. I love that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, let's get into you know your songwriting, mm-hmm. um, because when I was reading the lyrics, I found that it was very <laughs> poetic and very abstract, and it's like your storytelling. So yeah, I'm just a very indirect person. I just don't <laughs> like saying things straightforwardly. That's why. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that. But yeah, but I think like with the way I write, it's just. Um, I'm not. I'm really not the most direct person. I'm quite a roundabout um, communicator. I think when I try to tell people something, it's hard for me to kind of zero in and and say it in a sentence. I'll yeah. just go around the peripheries and describe every like everything but yeah, them. everything but it. And I mean, in a way, that helps to describe like, or rather, it helps paint a more accurate picture of what I'm really trying to say. But. Um, but yeah, so like I think with my writing that really comes through as well. It's not that I'm really trying to be like, you know, obscure or anything. Yeah. But it's just that it, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's just it's just me being my roundabout way, and, and yeah. yeah, it comes through in the music, I guess. So I guess when you do songwriting, do you first come up with lyrics and then it's kind of like how you feel and then you... Oh, it's always together, most of the time. Like, I, I always write the melodies and the lyrics together with the production. Like, okay. Yeah, because, I don't know, I find it hard to fit lyrics in, like, yeah. I think, yeah. Oh, what a great background music to that <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Tell me, how do you think you've evolved musically, you know, like from many years ago? Oh, well, man, I think, I think the biggest change is just that, like, my music has become less cathartic, like, it's become less... Less, like, purging. Yeah, less like a purging and, like, more like a... More like a, a snapshot, like, nowadays it feels like if I go through something and I write about it, like, and I, I'm always writing after an emotional high, like, yeah. I'm, like, angry or, like, sad or, yeah, or happy or whatever, like, and it, it feels like I'm just capturing that moment for, like, for me to always look back on and be like, this is what it felt like, you know? Yeah. And it doesn't feel as much as, as like, an exorcism of my demons, <laughs> like, you know, as it did in the past. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, no, so what do you think is like the biggest lesson you've learned from being in the industry so far? Um, well, I think it's kind of like, after working with so many different like labels, I think one thing I really learned to like hold on to is that I gotta be sure of the kind of music I wanna, I wanna make. But yeah, that's the one thing I learned, I think it's that like, I don't want... Like people will always try to to kind of make sense of your music based on the things that the the goalposts that they know. Like they'll be like, okay, you are somewhere between this artist and that artist, and like, you know, like people try to kind of make sense of that, and it's only natural because these are label executives and this is being industry personnel is their job. But yeah. I think as an artist, even though you have to pay attention to the environment and the musical landscape that you're yeah. operating in, you still have to kind of be sure of constantly of like why you're doing this and to yeah. make sure the music is as honest as possible. Because that's what that's what you're really doing. That's why music speaks to people, you know. It's because yeah. like there's something unique about it or there's something personal about it that they feel they can connect with. Yeah. 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 Oh, so any future projects we can look forward to? Yep, an album. I'm making it, but it's just taking a really long time. But I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so awesome. So thank I'm really you. excited for you to perform now. Thank you. I won't hold you back any longer. Aww. Yeah, thank you so much for this interview. Very brief, no. but I think we learned a lot from thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I, when I pulled this over, I forgot that you had to speak to it too. No, no, it's fine. Like, oh my God. Your words are way more important. <laughs> <laughs>